Good afternoon. It is Thursday, March 8th. I'm at home uh, enjoying some vacation time and doing yet again another video to share some of my latest vintage, antique, and record finds from this past week. Um, gonna start off here with what I think might be my favorite thing of this latest hoard and haul is this awesome 50s-ish mid-century atomic lamp with three-tier fiberglass laced shade. Um, picked this up down at the Mod Fix, this new mid-century modern shop that opened up in downtown Olympia, and I had been eyeing this for some time, and so I think I'm just going to, I'm going to kick out the lamp next to my uh, couch and replace it with this one because it was just so cool 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 and it's got this you know that typical texture with the, the splattery the gold and this teal color and then the softer seafoam green kind of color and then this v-shape kind of thing which really um, is so retro and my boomerang ashtrays will look really cool around it and this other kind of um, space uh, vase looking thing I call, a, call my Apollo moon landing looking vase. Um, on to the next item. I have everything set out here in the center of my living room, by the way, where I can just kind of go around um, and display it or, or discuss it. Um, and so my friends can think I'm even more of a hoarder than they already think I am. Um, by the way, they've also been complaining about the length of my videos, and so I'm going to try to keep it short, but I don't know, it's just not easy to do. <laughs> um, for my turquoise rotary dial phone I got a while back, I had been wanting something to set it on, and I didn't really have any surface area to put it on, so I, I decided uh, maybe I should get a phone stand. I saw this awesome one for sale at, a, at this antique shop I like in downtown Olympia a while back, but... I had gone back and it had been sold, so I got this wood pedestal plant stand thing, um, which looked very old, and uh, that was working out for a while until I bumped into this awesome, you know, 50s looking kind of, um, I don't know what you would call this, I don't, is it, you call it considered wire, wire construction kind of stuff? And then on the, the, the bookshelf I have sitting that uh, 50s modern vase in there. I don't know if anybody in past centuries would have decorated like that, but um, I don't know whether I'm gonna, not I'm going to leave that in there, but I don't like the look of books in there out in the living room for some reason, especially phone books. Yeah, you know, phone books belong in the cabinet to me. Um, and uh, down at the Mod Fix in Olympia, I had been eyeing this awesome orange Deco Toshiba uh, TV. Uh, manufactured in 1975 and my it works good I might get a digital converter box to use it but um, I bought it mainly because I not only do I like it and the burnt orange color to it um, I want to get uh, my next project I want to get a good working Atari 2600 maybe with a faux wood grain front and some some good you know nice games to play on it, like Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, and, um, yeah, so that'll be fun, that's my next project, uh, up in the Seattle area, uh, or actually Seattle proper, somebody on Craigslist had this lamp listed, uh, 50s, beautiful, really stylish, uh, gold lamp with two-tier, um, fiberglass, or vellum, or vellum, or uh, uh, shade, um, textured, like everything out of that era, it was like splatter paint and texture, highly textured, very cool, very cool. Um, since we're on lamps, up in uh, Goodwill in Shoreline, a Seattle suburb north of Seattle, at the Goodwill there, I found this awesome little, um, little lamp with a clip-on shade, and uh, I just thought that was fun. Uh, you know, the shade was a couple bucks, the lamp was a few bucks, and uh, just couldn't pass that up. Thought it was cool. Um, what's next? How about this? Uh, 
wool shirt. I got it Finders Keepers in Olympia. Um, I, I just love um, vintage wool shirts um, because it's cold in this part of the country and I just love vintage wool shirts and you know we got 10 months of winter here and two months of summer so you need nice warm woolly shirts here and uh, it's a cool red and light gray uh, pattern really cool um, next item down at Finders Keepers I picked up this uh, Christ, Jesus as the Good Shepherd, uh, holy picture, probably out of the 50s, I would think, judging from a kind of like blonde wood frame, and then also from, I think the same seller, uh, this fan from a, which has the, the Sermon on the Mount, I believe, uh, depicting Jesus preaching to his disciples, um, and it's from a funeral home and furniture uh, store in Brooklyn. Um, Furniture and appliances, ambulance services. It's hard to say what decade it's out of. I'm guessing 40s, judging from the uh, print. Possibly 50s. But, uh, you know, it has a sort of Art Deco kind of uh, shapes to it. Um, like, like right there, you know. So uh, it's really hard to say. 30s, 40s, 50s? I don't know. Three bucks, and uh, I'm going to put this in my kitchen in proximity to my icon corner um, home altar area and uh, it was only 16 bucks and uh, I just loved it and also at finders keepers picked up this awesome Afghan uh, throw blanket very colorful and uh, clean too along with the shirt everything anything cloth or clothes I buy there are always clean and uh, smells good which I'm, I'm happy you know no smoke or anything it's nice um, up in Shoreline uh, which is a North Seattle suburb or town um, no 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 this was Mount Lake Terrace uh, I picked up these magazine racks from somebody I had been eyeing on Craigslist for some time and uh, I, I just love this neighborhood I, I went into. It was all mid-century modern ranch houses, and uh, uh, you know, uh, most all of them had still had much of their original um, exterior, like like the garage doors and the front doors had the garage doors had that like starburst kind of patterns on them and diamond patterns, and the doors had you know maybe like diamond windows and the three like square windows and. Um, what else? Like, you know, the rock work on the exterior, like the brickwork, and the and then the the, the flat um, cut rock uh, exteriors, flat roofs, hip roofs. Re really, really cool neighborhood. I would almost love to maybe uh, live up there one day, buy a house up there someday if I can figure out if I can afford it and uh, find something that I like. Um, Magazine rack's awesome. Um, it looks very similar to my grandpa's uh, stand-up uh, uh, ashtray. Uh, very typical 50s kind of construction. Gold uh, wire frame kind of stuff with the, the ball ornamentation on the feet and everywhere. And uh, I've always liked this kind of pattern uh, cut on stuff. It reminds me of the cinder block kind of uh, ornamental walls and partitions on buildings especially in parts of the country like Southern California where I'm from um, still a lot of buildings like that around and especially in the Las Vegas area too in the 50s kind of neighborhoods um, but anyway that's what it reminds me of much like the uh, orange uh, bricks that the shelf over here for my hi-fi is um, are made out of uh, so I'm going to put my World's Fair stuff, like my um, my World's Fair collection of newspapers and magazines from the World's Fair in it. Before I do that, I need to get them all in plastic and with maybe some cardboard on the back of them. Um, records. I like this. Oh, the light's not good in here, but it's another magazine rack, and I like it. It's got a square bottom and 
that's good for uh, records, and I'm a, I plan on using that this for my my um, new arrivals um, and and listening of records until I tire of them to the point where I file them away with you know alphabetically with the rest of my main collection, and uh, it'll come in handy for whatever carrying records around the house to and from maybe. I load some up out of my record room to bring out of the living room to play. Um, what, what else? Uh, at Shoreline, at the Goodwill in Shoreline, I came across a couple 10, uh, 12 inch Vic- Victrola albums. And I mean, the condition on the album was just ridiculous. I mean, it is literally crumbling. I've never seen a 78 album turn up in worse condition. I mean, just the, the paper just, th- just snaps. Just like. Like, like, <laughs> like a cracker. It's just, it's so sad. Um, anyway, it was just getting everywhere. But um, there you can see it in the light. It's sad. It's not salvageable at all. The exterior is good, but um, the records miraculously, all, there were the, the the albums were full of records, and you would think, judging from the condition of the album. <laughs> the records would be broken, you know, 78s, especially what, when mixed in with vinyl records, just, they don't survive um, p- the vinyl diggers because they're not mindful of them uh, and their fragile nature and they get broken. But every record in here was in, like, almost mint condition. It was just bizarre. And uh, they're, uh, they're mostly, yeah, all opera records. Um, I'm not going to read off all their titles, but, um, you know, here is a nice, on a Red Seal, uh, Victor Batwing, Caprice Viennois, uh, original composition by Fritz Kriesler, awesome uh, violinist, who was popular from, I think, what, the teens and the 20s up into the, the 50s and beyond. Um, opera, uh, sung by Johanna or Johanna Gadsky, Valkyrie, Hoyo to Hoyo, um, I guess that would be from, if I'm pronouncing that opera right, uh, Die Ring des Nibelunen, right? Um, and that's awesome. I do have uh, Ride of the Valkyries on a Victor Circle label out of the 40s, and that sounds awesome on my on my credenza. It's fun stuff. Nothing more fun than, you know, opera people recognize um, popular stuff that's popular enough, iconic enough to play for yourself and... Uh, the amusement of other people. Um, I think that is about it. And I should get going, doing some productive things around here and getting my stuff uh, put away and pictures hung and stuff displayed. So thanks for watching. It's 13 minutes as opposed to 20. Um, I wanted to make it longer. Oh boy. And we got to read off the records, right? This was a hoot. Steno Booster. Um, steno uh, 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 Shorthand. New easy way to boost your shorthand speed. Steno Booster. Dictation speed and accuracy training course. It reminds me, um, my mom would tell me of her younger life and time as a secretary and how, you know, they would have to learn stuff like shorthand. And I don't know. She would have stuff and like office equipment floating around the house from her from her younger days and uh, I still have books like uh, I don't know like a thesaurus and all kinds of interesting vintage stuff like we had this like avocado green typewriter that I grew up with and used and it was fun uh, 101 strings fire and romance of the gypsies this was at Goodwill and Shoreline I picked this all up uh, twin guitars and a mood for lovers got songs like um, the third man theme this is really cool and on um, guitar like this and songs you know like La Mer you've heard me mention that Smoke It's In Your Eyes really cool this was a score George Shearing and the uh, that fresh feeling and gosh the jacket is in nice shape the, the record is mint and it was a buck and wow that that was a score that was the best one that was the best find of uh, that outing, uh, I'll be around the continental. Love that, love that song. Oh man, when your lover is gone, 
changing with the times. Don't blame me. The Breeze and I will be together again. Pick up yourself up. For you, Waltz for Sheba. Measure for leisure. Measure for leisure. Um, and then I bought a bunch of Ventures albums. And uh, not out of the bargain bins, uh, but uh, the uh, the primo price section. And, you know, they were like three bucks. This one was uh, what was this one million weekend, the Ventures. It's got songs on it like Wendy and uh, Georgie Girl. Love that. Um... Uh, my friend in New Jersey might like this one. Um, this is interesting. I know she likes 101 strings. Um, I had never seen this before, ever. And I think the reason that is, um, by the way, that's what's playing right now, um, one of the three records in this set, it is from Finland. And I did a little research online, and I think this is a department store in Finland. Sokos, if I'm pronouncing that right. Stereo 3 LP Levia? I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to try to pronounce this. Oh, jeez. But, um, it's still in the shrink, and it's got a uh, price tag, Sokos. Very interesting, and good stuff on it. A theme from Romeo and Juliet. All the stuff that was popular um, in the 60s and 70s. Guantanamera, love that. Girl from Ipanema. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Strangers in the night. Um, Three Coins in the Fountain, love that song. Moon River, love that song. Autumn Leaves, love that song. Aquarius, People, Love is a Many Splendored Thing. Um, man, <laughs> cool. Uh, Harry Sweets, Edison. I don't believe I've ever heard of this, this uh, guy, but uh, I liked what was on it. Summer Samba, so nice, as time goes by, and when lights are low, somewhere my love, Mandy, make up your mind. That's a funny song or earlier. Paradise, it looks like rain in a cherry blossom lane. On a clear day, you can see forever. I don't know why, I just do. Drive at five, the shadow of your, of your smile and misty. Um, Ventures, uh, Golden Greats. Um, Scott, your usual exploited... Um, 60s Babe on the cover that has nothing to do with the music or the band but helps sell the records. Uh, just like all, all of these. Um, it attracts you to the album and then you're like, okay, but then now after her, what's on the record? <laughs> Hugo Wendell Halter goes uh, Gypsy, Hungarian Dance Number 5, stuff like that. Um, very cool. Really like those um, RC Victor uh, phonographs there on the back. Uh, almost done. The Colorful Ventures. Um, I'm not, I don't want to read all this. Uh, Blue Skies, Yellow Bird, cool. Um, this was really, really cool. A Very Good Year. Let me get that over to the light better. Very Good Year. Uh -huh. Columbia Treasuries Orchestra and Chorus. Whipped Cream, Michelle, Winchester Cathedral, King of the Road. It was a very good year. Uh, Born Free, love that song. Um, Mame. I don't know. I don't know that song. Happiness is. It's awesome. I think Ray Conniff has done a lot of these kind of songs. Um, the Impossible Dream. These boots are made for walking. Strangers in the Night. Cool. Lara's theme from Dr. Zhivago. Um, this was really cool. Heliotrope Bouquet. Piano Rags. Awesome artwork. Holy smokes. Very psychedelic. Um, but, you know, it's all ragtime stuff. Um... We'll save time reading all that off. Mashed Potatoes and Gravy, The Ventures, Wawa Tusi, stuff like that. Awesome. Summertime is kind of cool. But, um, yeah, this this was Bargain Bin. That was a buck. Um, this was interesting. I just simply liked the album artwork. And it is this, um, it looks like one of the arcades in the uh, parts of the Vatican City in Rome. I'm not sure. But, uh, Respighi, The Pines, The Fountains of Rome, Toscanini, and the NBC Symphony Orchestra. Res, Respighi, 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 and the NBC Symphony Orchestra. Um, nice, you know, nice orchestral music. And uh, I was just really attracted to the weird tinted uh, green, black and white, I don't know what kind of style of print or photography um, you call that, but I thought it was cool. Anyway. Uh, that's 20 minutes, and phew, I am sorry, and <sighs> that was my 
last week and I hope you enjoyed my video and my work to share my vintage and antique uh, finds and record scores and cool stuff and I think that is it pick, uh, there's one more album of like opera which I got for like five or six bucks but um you know couldn't pass it up it was all it was all there and in good shape anyway <laughs> thanks for watching bye bye